Tim, this is another Real Ideal Gear Review, and today we're looking at the Bertucci DX3 Field Watch. Great watch. This is a, a, a field watch through and through, low cost, high, great specs, high standards for, for a field watch, but at the same time, it, the, the cost they keep the cost down on this watch. I really, really like what they've done with the Bertucci DX3. So we're going to go through the five things we typically go through. We'll hit some of the positives and negatives, recommendations, uses at the end. So let's get started with the five things, which is size, fitment, finish, accuracy, then legibility and loom. So for size, typical size of a field watch. Normal size, it's not a really big watch. It's actually on the narrower side um, when it comes down to the diameter. I like that. Um, I, but at the same time, because there's no bezel, you get a lot of real estate on the diameter anyway. If you were to put a bezel on here like a dive watch, it would start to constrict everything down even more. But because it's a field watch, you can get away with a smaller case diameter and have a similar sized dial in the process. The weight, this is a polymer, fiber reinforced polymer case, so it's a very light case. You have a NATO strap, so there's no metal in the strap other than the keepers over here. So overall weight of this watch is extremely lightweight. The size of the crown, it's the perfect size for the proportions of this watch. I can grab this that's not hidden behind these crown guards. So it's not hard to grab. It's actually fairly easy to grab. There's plenty of, of texture on the crown to grab it as well and manipulate it. So it's a quartz movement. So when you adjust the time, there's no date down here. So when I adjust this, it's one pull out and I'm adjusting the time. It's a hacking movement as well. So when I pull that crown out, the second hand stops. Love it. So as far as a field watch goes, this has all the qualities I'm looking for in a field watch. It has the uh, the big numbers for the 12, 3, 6, and 9. It also has the 24-hour markers on here so that you have the 24-hour time on here if you're used to doing that for patrol purposes, law enforcement, military, that kind of thing. There's They're always using the 24-hour clock and they're not using the regular you know, AM and PM. So that's helpful as well. Um, just the, the size of this watch, the size of the dial, the size of a lot of things, just great, great dimensions. So let's go down to fitment, okay? This is where I have a little bit of an issue with this watch. The NATO style strap on this watch is just, it's stiff, it's new, I get it. It'll start to break in over time. But there is just a lot of heavy duty nylon between these three keepers. And that's where I just have an issue with how stiff this is. I'm not sure this is gonna loosen up a lot. Now it does conform to my wrist, but I have a larger wrist too. So um, the radius that, that, that this band has to go around is larger. But if you have a smaller wrist, this may be one that kind of creates some gaps on your wrist. Um, but work, work the nylon as best you can. It'll probably, I think over time, loosen up for me as well. Um, the overall fitment though is good. The holes are typical holes on a NATO strap. Um, it's, you know, you're going to find the right, uh, the right size on here. One of the things I want to point out though, is on this NATO strap, they've added extra uh, stitching on here as a retainer so that should this strap come undone and the, the head of the watch starts to slide off, it will catch right there on the fixed lug and it will have a hard time passing through. You have to get this, uh, this tag into the strap almost vertical and push it through in order for that uh, strap to go through. On a typical NATO strap, they don't have the extra stitching on the end of the on the end of the uh, the strap right here. They have two layers of it here, and I, I believe those are retention in case this thing were to come undone. You wouldn't lose the head of the watch off the strap, which is the case on some of these single pass. This is a single pass NATO. If you have a single pass NATO, that thing can come right off. It just slides right off. So great idea. This is a simple idea too. All you do is add some extra thread in there and it's a good retention. Finish. Love the finish of this watch. Dull gray, dull black case. A polymer fiber reinforced case. Has a nice, great tactical look to it as far as like dull, not reflective. You have the black dial. You have high contrast numbers inside. Great finished uh, pencil hands in there, a red second hand. The finishing on that is just superb. I love it. The 12, 3, 6, and 9 is larger than the other hour markers. I love that touch because I think it just sets up the, qu the quadrants of your watch a little bit easier for indexing and orientation, especially if it's off and it's sitting on the desktop or a, a nightstand. Um, it's just easier to orient. 
Um, the finishing of the crown is good, nice grippy crown. Also, it's you know it's a different color, so it's you know it's easy to find the crown. <laughs> I know, you know, if you have a hard time finding the crown, you got other issues. But for whatever reason, I think it's just a nice touch. Adds a little bit of, of uh, design flair to it as well. The night the NATO strap is a good strap. The keepers are they're dull finished anyway, so re reflectivity is low. So when it comes down to this watch as a field watch. As a tactical watch, it is a very, very well-designed watch for those reasons. So I have no issues. If I was in law enforcement again, I have no issue wearing this watch when it comes down to those those high-risk entry type things. Um, you know, whatever the situation where you want to keep your profile as low as possible when it comes down to identifying where you are and, and who you are um, for whatever those reasons happen to be, tactically speaking. So I think this is a, just a great um, LEO, uh, MP, military, um, any kind of tactical application is going to be great. But for those not in tactical applications, it's an easy dial to read. This is what I love about field watches is just the legibility, the ease of use. It's a quartz movement, grab and go, no issues there whatsoever. And you don't have to worry about the lug bars or the spring bars on these popping out or breaking off. It's all fixed together. It's all one piece. So for that reason, I think it's even more durable um, when it comes down to making sure the strap and the watch stay, to, stay connected. Loom. It's okay, Loom. It's nothing to write home about. Um, it lasts for a little while. Um, the, the hands last the longest. The problem is, is the hands, because the hour marker um, Loom is, doesn't last very long, it's hard to index this watch. After a few minutes, you start to lose orientation if you if you're, the watch was not on your wrist. Um, you could lose the orientation a little bit easier that way. So it's just the index uh, markers, not the numbers themselves, and then the two hands, the hour hand and the minute hand that are Loomed. Hour hand and minute hand loomed very well. Again, low cost. Keep the the expectations within the budget of what the watch is. This is not going to last all night. It does need to last for a number of minutes, and it does that no problem whatsoever. So tactically speaking, it's not overly bright because, again, that can give your position away. It can give your location away, and this doesn't do that. I think it's well balanced. So 50 meters of water resistance. So one of the things I like about this, it's a no-nonsense watch. The stitching on the single pass NATO strap is a great retention system. Very easy, very simple. Um, the big numbers in the 12, 3, 6, 9, the legibility, the tacticalness of the watch, and it's lightweight. What are the things I don't like about this watch? The NATO strap keepers are too big. These are just, they stick out way too much. You don't need that much space, okay, on a NATO strap. Um, when, when the strap itself is as thin as it is, I mean, I could pass this through probably almost three times through those keepers. It's, the, the keepers are just too big. The mineral crystal as well. Now, the one thing about this mineral crystal is that it's recessed inside the case. So the mineral crystal actually has a, a bezel that from the case that goes around it that's slightly above the crystal. So not a bad design feature, really, when it comes down to it. Plus, this is a pretty narrow watch. Not a, It's a low-profile watch on the wrist anyway. So I think that's a great combination. But the mineral crystal, I'm still not a fan of mineral crystal. Push-pull crown um, versus a screw-down crown. You know, um, I wish it was a screw-down crown. Not a big deal. But, you know, it, would that have added, uh, you know, 100 meters of water resistance if that was the case? I don't know. But, you know, screw-down crown, I prefer those anyway. What would be the uses for this watch? Definitely law enforcement, military, uh, military police, that kind of application for sure when it comes down to professional use. Um, it's a lightweight watch. I think you can abuse this watch quite a bit. Um, everything about the case is, is tough um, with a fiber reinforced polymer case. And then you've just got a very legible dial. So this to me is a great, great field watch, great patrol watch for law enforcement. Certainly as a casual watch, I think beyond that, you're not gonna get above a casual setting with this strap in particular. But now remember, you can't use anything but a single pass NATO strap on here or a double pass um, because of the fixed lugs. So th that's just the way it is. It's going to be a NATO style strap that that's on here. So that limits the uses, the multi-use of this watch to kind of that um, working casual setting. So which is totally fine. Um, so there you go. That's what I like about the watch. Those are some of the things I don't like about the watch. And down in the comment, put uh, your ideas about this watch. What do you like about it? Do you have a Bertucci? Do you have your, have you heard of the company? I'd never heard of the company, but I've seen this now. 
with a lot of references to law enforcement and military field watch, those kind of applications. So I really like this setup a lot, and I think absolutely that's the recommendation for this watch. So put those in the comments down below. Where do you think this watch fits in? And if you have watches that are similar to this, put those ideas down there because that's how I find out about them as well. There you go. My name is Tim. This has been another Real Ideal Gear Review. We'll catch you guys next time.